There may be up to 15 military warehouses like the one hit yesterday by Ukraine in Toropex, Tver Oblast, on the territory of the Russian Federation. This was stated by Captain of the First Rank, Head of Security Programs at the Center for Global Studies Strategy 21 of Ukraine, Pavel Lakichuk, on air at Kiev 24. To understand the scale of the Russian losses as a result of the destruction of this warehouse, Lakichuk recalled that in 2020, 2,750 tons of ammonium nitrate exploded in the port of Beirut, and this was a global event because it was the largest non-nuclear explosion in the world. At that time, experts determined its power to be equivalent to a 2 kiloton nuclear bomb, and Jordanian seismologists recorded an earthquake from the explosion with a power of 3.3 on the Richter scale. When the explosions began in the Tver region yesterday morning at 0355, an earthquake of magnitude 2.8 was recorded and then before 7 a.m. almost 15 earthquakes of magnitude from 2 to 2.7. In Beirut, 3.3 points is 2 kilotons, so you can calculate how many thousands of tons of explosives were in this warehouse in Torapets. This is really a lot, the expert noted. According to Lakichuk, this was one of the newest warehouses in the Russian Federation. I think former Deputy Minister of Defense of the Russian Federation, Bulgakov himself, exposed it. In 2018, Bulgakov said that it was a very cool warehouse and there was even a sauna there. I think that 20 Russian soldiers ended their existence there. He joked. Lakichuk noted that in 2012, the Russians launched an ambitious program to improve the storage system for missiles, ammunition and explosives. According to Russian media reports in 2012 to 2014, in addition to Torapets, there was talk of at least nine arsenals in the European part of Russia and up to 15 in total across the entire territory of the Russian Federation. At that time, they said that these would be super shelters underground under incredible layers of protection with special air defense systems, including against drones. Although drones were not talked about much yet, and hardly anyone expected that Ukrainian drones would fly, but they were already talking about this. And in addition to a dozen and a half of these large promising arsenals, they talked about the reconstruction of about 500 ammunition and missile storage facilities by 2024. You can imagine how much of this stuff the Russians still have. Nevertheless, the Torapets warehouse was obviously not the last in this series. He emphasized, according to the military expert, Ukrainian intelligence knows a list of at least nine storage facilities in the European part of Russia and normal baobabs will still sprout. Russian forces attacked a retirement home in the city of Sumy with a guided aerial bomb on September 19, killing one person and injuring at least 14 others, regional officials said. A total of 221 elderly people lived in the retirement home. The attack partially destroyed two floors of the building, the interior ministry said. There are no people trapped under the rubble. A total of 147 people have been evacuated. People are being moved to new prepared places. They need medical and psychological assistance, Governor Volodymyr Ardiak said on national television. The attack happened in the afternoon. People were having lunch or resting and were shocked. Russia has intensified its attacks on bordering Sumy Oblast, which the military considers to be a response to Kiev's success in the Kursk operation that was launched in early August. Ukrainian authorities are planning to evacuate a total of 45,000 residents from the region. The Russian military is striking Sumy Oblast because of Ukraine's successes in Russia's Kursk Oblast, Vadim Mysnyk, a spokesperson for the Ukrainian military's operational tactical group Siversk, told Radio Free Europe. Mysnyk nevertheless said that Russian strikes on Sumy Oblast would have continued even if Ukraine had not successfully advanced in the Kursk sector. While Russia has ramped up attacks against the region since August, Sumy Oblast has been shelled on a daily basis since the beginning of the full-scale invasion in 2022. It's just a matter of time before they dump all this on us. Either in Sumy Oblast or in another city. But they will strike at Ukraine with everything they have, using the entire arsenal, the spokesperson said. They see our successes in the Kursk operation, and we are close to them, 
so there is probably some fear that we will somehow operate in other cities on the border, he added. MYSNYK also noted that the Russian military had reduced the number of mortar attacks on the border of Sumy Oblast and stopped attacking Kharkiv Oblast with aerial guided bombs. This may indicate that Russia's resources are not unlimited, he added. <laughs> Ну что случилось?